Hi guys! Today I'm reviewing the Vitamix 5200. It's 20.5 inches tall, 7.3 inches wide, and weighs 10 pounds 9 ounces. It has a very industrial, heavy-duty look to it. The Vitamix has a two-peak horsepower motor. The container holds 64 ounces and is BPA-free. Vitamix states it is virtually unbreakable. There are measurements on the jar in ounces and cups on one side and milliliters and liters on the other. The shape of the jar helps pull the ingredients into the blade. The lid is vented and spilled proof. There is an auto shut off feature if the unit gets too hot. The heavy duty cord extends from 19 inches to 6 feet. The blades are hard and stainless steel which is supposed to stay sharp over time. The Vitamix comes with a 7 year warranty, which is the longest compared to most blenders. The jar sits on the base. You don't have to turn it or lock it, nothing. It just sits straight on the base. The lid has two flaps. Place the flaps in between the spout and the handle. And just push down. It locks. The lid plug goes straight in, turn clockwise to lock, and counterclockwise to release. The included tamper is used to push ingredients down into the blade, especially when you're processing thick food. It's designed not to touch the blade, as this part of the tamper will stop at the lid. Make sure you use the tamper with the lid on. You do not want to run the blender with the lid off. The controls are simple with an on-off toggle switch and high variable toggle switch. There's also a smooth speed control dial. The Vitamix comes with an owner's manual. A getting started step-by-step -step guide with tips and recipes, a getting started DVD, and a sturdy binder with recipes for beverages, sauces, breads, desserts, dressings and marinades, and even recipes for kids. Really cute Play-Doh and finger paint recipes. The binder also folds. So you can use it as a stand. It's such a simple thing, but shows how much thought went into this recipe book and the buyer's ease of use. I'm going to test the Vitamix by making a fruit smoothie, a healthy vegetable drink, hot soup, and sherbet for dessert. This looks like a serious machine, and I'm hoping it'll live up to its name. Let's start with a basic fruit smoothie. I'm using half a cup of yogurt, one cup frozen blueberries, and a little honey. You can substitute agave syrup or any other sweetener you'd like. Put the lid on. The lid seals really well. Select variable and one on the dial. Turn the machine on and move the dial to 10 and then to high. We'll blend this for about a minute. To remove the lid, hold onto the handle and lift up the flap. The spout is nice and long and is drip free. The smoothie is perfectly blended and there are no chunks. I'll taste it. This is probably the creamiest smoothie I've ever had. The blueberries were obliterated. There is no trace of skin. It is smooth and silky. To clean, fill halfway with warm water, add two drops of dishwashing liquid, lock the lid, blend on high for 30 to 60 seconds. Turn the unit off and rinse the container and lid with water. Blending is helpful because it would be difficult to manually clean under the blade. After cleaning, dry everything thoroughly. Take the lid plug out of the lid so moisture doesn't get trapped. Do not put the container or lid in the dishwasher. Next, I'll make a super healthy drink with lots of vegetables. Pour in about a half a cup of water, one whole tomato, one carrot cut into three inch pieces, one stalk of celery, a half a red bell pepper, quarter small red onion, some cucumber, one small clove of garlic, one small piece of ginger, and some flat leaf parsley. I'm also squeezing a bit of fresh lemon juice, Finish off with some salt and pepper. Always put the soft ingredients on the bottom and dry ingredients and ice on top. I'm adding a cup of ice. Put the lid on, select variable and one. We'll turn the unit on, 
turn to 10, high, and blend for a minute. The vegetable drink is also completely smooth, no chunks at all. I'll taste it. There's no grittiness at all. You would expect it to taste a little gritty because the celery is fibrous and the carrots are hard, but this is perfectly smooth. Try this blend of vegetables because it's really healthy and tastes pretty good. The base can be wiped down. This part does lift up so you can clean under here if you need to. Next I'll make mango sherbet. I'm pouring in one cup of milk, one pound of frozen mango chunks, and a quarter cup of sugar. You can of course substitute with another sweetener if you'd like. Put the lid on. Again, we'll start with variable and one on the dial. Move the dial to 10 quickly and high. This is similar to a recipe in the Vitamix recipe book. It is a good idea to try their recipes because they've already tested it out for you. You can also use similar ingredients to customize the recipe. There are the four mounds, so you know the sherbet is ready. If you overprocess this, it will start to melt. See how smooth it is, how creamy it is? It tastes absolutely heavenly. You can see how thick and velvety smooth it is. It's like a dessert made with a commercial machine at an ice cream shop. I like this consistency, but if you want it harder, put it in the freezer. This is a great recipe, and you should definitely try it. Since my mango sherbet came out so creamy, I think I'll make some ice cream and post that recipe also at a later time. The Vitamix should make hot soup in about 6 minutes using friction heat as the blades spin very fast. I'll make Vitamix's curried carrot soup. That's 2 cups of water, you can use vegetable broth instead or chicken broth, and a half a cup of milk. You can use any kind of milk that you'd like. Here I have six medium carrots cut into pieces, one small onion, small piece of ginger, and a little bit of lemon peeled. Put that into the blender. Also add three quarters of a teaspoon of curry powder. I also mixed in half a teaspoon of salt to my curry powder. Cover it. We'll start with variable and one on the dial. Turn it on, move up the dial to 10 and then to high. It'll blend for about six minutes or until steam escapes through the lid. If you want hot soup quicker, add preheated water to your vegetables and it'll be hot faster. been six minutes. I do see a little bit of steam coming out of the top here and the jar is very hot. Our soup is ready. I hope you can see the steam. There's a lot of steam coming out of the jar. It smells amazing. 
the smell of the carrot and ginger and curry powder is really good. The soup is perfectly smooth, it's creamy. If you want a chunky soup towards the end of blending, what you could do is add some toasted nuts and just use the toggle button to go up and down once or twice and you'll have a different texture in your soup. Taste this. Oh my gosh, it's really hot and um, you do have to actually blow on it before you drink it because it's very hot. It tastes really good and it's completely smooth and it's pretty impressive that you can make soup in a Vitamix and it's hot. I will make almond milk or rice milk and a nut butter and post it separately. So subscribe to stay tuned for those recipes. Is the blender loud? Of course it is. Any powerful blender will be loud, but the noise is not ear piercing. As for all of my vegetable and fruit scraps, I'll blend it with water in the Vitamix and I can pour it right into my garden. This eliminates the need for an additional compost pile. Overall, the Vitamix is impressive. It made a hot soup in six minutes. The mango sherbet was made in about 30 seconds. The vegetable drink and blueberry smoothie were beyond smooth. They were extremely creamy and grit free. The Vitamix is expensive, so if you're just gonna make smoothies, you really don't need to get a Vitamix. If you plan on using the Vitamix at least a few times a week, it's completely worth it. It has a great warranty and should last a long time. The link to the Vitamix is in the description below. I hope you found this review useful. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.